forward boom take it out and throw all right guys so as if you guys have been following me for a while i've been watching a lot of my stuff uh you guys know that I'm, I'm really big on simplifying the hand path right so some people call it arm action arm path long short compact simple whatever it is i'm just trying to get as consistent as possible at release so the success that I've had with guys is just simplifying the path that their hands take after hand separation and then getting back into their release slot, right? We want that to be as consistent as possible and increase the the ability by the athlete to be repeatable in that slot, right? So anyways, uh, a quick progression that I that I came up with. Um, I don't know where I saw it. I, I believe I've seen it a few times, but it's using like the pocket of your shorts. Um, just, uh, I guess the terminology is pocket path. I didn't even know that was a real phrase until like four days ago. Um, so that's freaking awesome. Hashtag it. So we're just trying to feel or at least put the athlete in an environment to feel that path that that hand takes. I call it kind of inside the body. So facing that camera, I don't want to show you the ball and get almost what I would call too disconnected with my hands. So something that I've found provides kind of instant feedback is just something that you can put the ball slightly in your pocket here. Don't go all the way down because then you'll have trouble getting it out, but get it to where you can easily pull the ball out and you can do a couple progressions, right? So just a real simple one, just like a regular, like slight leg lift or throw or whatever it is, just have the ball in that pocket. And then as your body starts to move forward, right? So we wanna initiate the movement with our body first, not the hand, right? So that's the common breakdown we'll see is a guy doesn't initiate any body movement and then he'll initiate hand movement and go, boom, and then go, that kind of defeats the purpose. So initiate forward momentum, okay? and then take that hand out. So it's crazy to see what the body will do in order to adapt to that acceleration, right? The, the hand will, will therefore get quicker into its slot and then into its release point. So this is what it's gonna look like. Again, just barely in the pocket, just move forward, boom, take it out and throw. So you can obviously do multiple different variations like that. And then what I would say to really get that, grasp that motor control is blend them, right? So when I say blend them, do something like in the pocket, okay, a throw, and then find a way, if you got a turn or if you need another ball, whatever it is, throw another one from like a regular leg lift without using that. So you start, again, blending those kind of feelings uh, over. So, for example, this is what a blend would look like. Right, so I found with the blendings, instead of having to think about the physical adjustment that you're making, you just give your body that input of what you're trying to accomplish, and then right away, you take that kind of constraint out of it, and then see if your body can just adapt and get yourself into that environment that provides that same feedback that you got when you were in a constraint setting. So um, yeah, play around with it if you're a guy that's trying to simplify your hand path. Again, pocket path is kind of, I think I'm gonna start saying that now because it just makes sense. But um, simplifying the hand path, staying inside your body and utilizing leverage, whatever you wanna call it, but could be a really good progression for you. Let me know.